Greetings, Green Thumb Gardening family. I like an unleashed back at you from right here at the Green Thumb Gardening channel, right here in the Rose Zone 8B in Tifton, Georgia. And in this afternoon's video, in this afternoon's video, I'm super excited to be bringing you guys a first time peek at our Passiflora Incarnata plant that we're currently growing in a three gallon container here at the Green Thumb Gardening channel. And we featured this uh, Passiflora Incarnata, this passion flower. Uh, by here on one of our uh, affiliate channels the more you grow container gardening here on YouTube a few days ago we also did a short on this Passiflora Incarnata vine um, about a week or so ago on that same channel and if not already subscribed to um, our other channel the more you grow container garden you can click over to that channel right now go ahead and subscribe to our channel and click on that notification bell and you'll receive updates every time we upload new content on that channel as well. Our Passiflora Incarnata vine, again, we are currently growing it in a three gallon container here at the Green Thumb Gardening Channel. And it's about three months old at this time. We received this Passiflora Incarnata um, as a root cutting. Uh, when we first received that root cutting, it had one little tiny bud on it that was just about to uh, sprout out into a leaf. It actually had no actual feeder roots on it. Just, just a actual thick root cutting. We planted that root cutting in this container I'm about to show you guys right now. And again, three months later, this is what our Passiflora Incarnata, our passion flower, well, North America's version of South America's passion, passion flower vine is currently uh, looking like right now here in our front yard gardening state in the grow area. We have it in a mostly shaded location here i'm going to flip, lift this camera up for you guys right now and show you exactly what is going on with our passiflora incarnata our passion flower vine take a look at this isn't she lovely Again, she is about three months old. As you can see she's already every bit of about four feet in height here atop this crate we have here in this shady location in our nursery at our Green Thumb Nurseries here. And we already had one blossom to open here a couple of days ago. We were kind of hoping that we would have two to three blossoms open up at the same time so that we could uh, come out here and attempt to um, hand pollinate these flowers in order to get a maypop before the end of the um, season. Uh, the maytop, maypop is the common um, a common name for the um, North America's um, version of South America's again passion flower, a uh, passion fruit vine and um, again uh, we were kind of hoping that we would get two or three of these flowers open up at the same time so we could come out here with a smaller brush and hand pollinate these um, flowers but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Uh, what's actually happening is we haven't um, one individual flower to open at a time and these flowers tend to stay open for about a day a day and a half and then they close back up so if you don't it's not getting pollinated within that first day to day and a half it's probably not going to get um pollinated so here this first year we may not get any fruit this first year and that'll be a-okay and if not at the end of this growth season we'll simply take a cutting from this vine grow another passiflora incarnata vine during the fall and winter months in our, in our um, high tunnel greenhouse and next spring we'll have two of these vines and we'll definitely get some crop some uh, pollination going on um by doing um by using that method at any rate our passiflora and now that's our first blossom that opened up about two and a half to three days ago this is our second to open blossom and this blossom was not open 30 minutes ago this blossom was not open, I know, because I was sitting out here 30 minutes ago. I went inside and went, up, went back to our food forest in the back to uh, water a few things back there. And then I came back out here and this blossom was open and not just beginning to open. It was all the way open as you see it right now. So these blossoms tend to open up very rapidly when they do open up. And again, they only tend to last about a day, maybe a day and a half before they, um, they dry up. But again, isn't that a lovely, lovely, lovely blossom, almost an alien looking blossom on our Passiflora Incarnata, North America's version of South America's passion fruit vine. 30, about, again, about three months old here, about 90 days old. 
and we're super excited to be sharing this with you guys here at the Green Thumb Garden Channel. Again, uh, we featured this Passiflora incarnata um, several, uh, about a week ago in a short on our um, third channel, The More You Grow Container Gardening here on YouTube. And if you guys not already subscribed to that channel, please indeed click over to, to, to that channel. I'll post a link in the description to this video so you can hop over there and check out that channel and see what we're gonna have growing on over there at The More You Grow Container Gardening here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. And if indeed you currently are watching this video and you're not already subscribed to the Green Thumb Gardening channel or the More You Grow Container Gardening, please take this moment and put that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification button beneath the video and subscribe to our channels as well. Thanks for watching.